These days, I often get uh, questions about uh, how one can stay abreast of the law. People, maybe two or three people have uh, messaged me on the channel asking me or telling me, or by email even, telling me that, you know, they left law practice for a while and they're just trying to get back into practice and that how can they, you know, effectively do that. So um, I'm making this short video to share three tips that can help you. Whether you've left law practice for a while or whether you're in active practice and you want to just get better with your knowledge of the law. So um, the three tips are in this order. The three tips are in this order. Pay attention, join conversations, exercise the law. What do I mean? Pay attention. By paying attention, you can almost always excel in any aspect of your life. Just pay a little more attention than the next person. You know, uh, I'd use the, the example that, uh, you know, when I was growing up, each time I came across a new word, I made a mental note where I wrote it down and I went ahead to, you know, check it, look it up in the dictionary. So uh, even though I might not have need for it immediately, it becomes part of my residual knowledge. And when I need it in the future, I just find it coming on its own. And I'm wondering, how do I even know this word or the meaning of this word or the correct pronunciation of this word? That's exactly how to get ahead in life and how to excel in any situation. Pay attention. So if you're watching a movie, for instance, and they make reference to a legal term or an aspect of the law that you're not too familiar with or that you've forgotten about or that you don't really give much attention to before, go and check it out. Put it in Google. That's what I do in most uh, cases, you know, look it up, read an article about it, or just read the dictionary meaning, the Google meaning, what people are saying about it as uh, the online results come, and uh, move on with your life. You don't necessarily have to do anything with it at that point, but trust me, it will come handy in the future, and you will thank yourself that you actually looked it up at that point. For instance, there was a time when uh, someone left me a comment on this channel and said that, you know, they were part of a... Uh, Pastor Jerry is this NSPDD or NSPPD, I hope I got that correctly, prayers, and they talked about allocutors, you know, during prayers that morning. So they were looking for the meaning of allocutors and they looked it up and it brought my YouTube channel and the video that I had done on allocutors. So they left me that comment. Now, that person already has a residual knowledge or even a working knowledge of what allocutors means, implies, and how it is used, in what context it is used. They might not necessarily use it beyond the prayer time that they had used it before that. But in the future, it might come up and it might be a game changer for them. It might be the thing that would, you know, distinguish them among their peers and it will be the thing or might be the thing that will move them forward. So pay attention. If someone mentions something in a random conversation, if you're scrolling online and you find something about the law that you're not too familiar with or that you find interesting, or whatever it is, just go look it up. Check it. Pause and read it. If it's a link that someone has shared about an aspect of law, click the link. At least read a paragraph or two, even if you're not going to read everything. Our friends, everyone shares links all the time. For instance, someone shared uh, their paper that they had published they only shared the abstract. I asked them for the full paper. So they shared it on their WhatsApp. But before I could read it, it had disappeared. I had to go in their inbox and say, please, so can you restate us this thing? And they sent me the, or resent, and they sent me the whole paper. I'm currently reading it. It's not my field or aspect of law exactly that I... Uh, it's, it's not my area of law that I specialize in, but I'm going to finish reading that paper and I'm going to be the smarter for it. That's how to get into law or get back into law or stay ahead or abreast of the law. Pay attention. The second thing I want to say is join conversations. Very important. If you're online, if you're offline, join legal conversations. Don't just join conversations that are just banter, you know, jokes, crews, and all of that. Those things are good. They make for a balanced life and perspective. But join legal conversations. If you find that someone has tweeted something about the law and you have something on your mind, say it. Res respond to their tweet. Reply. Or if it's something, you know what it does is that if it's something that you're not sure of how to reply or you don't really know how to enter into the conversation, it drives you, okay, let me use myself as an example. It drives me to go do little research. So I go to Google. I check it up. I read a Mondag article, for instance, or, you know, some other article 
I just look it up generally, or maybe it's, an, uh, it's a quote of the law. I go, if I have that law handy, I just open it and I read it. For instance, I was reviewing, uh, uh, I think it's a book, I don't know, but I, I only got some chapters to review for someone about criminal law, and they had quoted you know, a portion of the Constitution, and I wanted to correct it. But I said, let me check the Constitution. It was on my table, so I just, I just grabbed the Constitution, and I checked it, and then I realized that what they had quoted is actually correct, so there's no need for me to correct it. So uh, I'm still wondering if constitution, constitutional English is, you know, different from normal English, but I had to leave it. But I'm well informed now about that aspect of the law. So join conversations. If you find a Facebook post or an Instagram post about an aspect of law, leave a comment. Join the conversation. Sometimes when you say something, another person will come and say something that would make you even smarter, that would inform you the more. That's how to stay abreast of the law. And, you know, that's how to uh, get back into law or stay in law, whichever the case may be. And the third thing is exercise the law. Exercise the law in the sense that, you know, put it in your own conversations, post it, tweet it, you know, uh, add it to your daily living. When you're joking, add a spice of illegal terminology or a Latin maxim or phrase of the law. You know, spice up your life with the law. Let it become part and parcel of you. Let it be. Let, let it form part of your jokes, part of your sentences, part of your quips, your online activities. You know, when you are writing, infuse the law. Infuse the law into your daily living. So exercise it. Put it to practice. When you're conversing, whether with laymen or with law students or with lawyers, you know, add the law. I do that a lot, and it's it's just it's the best. It just keeps you, you know, active in that. Uh, in the law space, it keeps you it keeps your brain, your mind active. So it's very important for you to exercise the law, the knowledge that you have. Most times we have residual knowledge. We're not doing anything with it. Put these things to practice, and the more you do this, the more you find that you're getting ahead. So if you're exercising the law, for instance, if you get stuck, or maybe you say something you're not supposed to say, or something that doesn't uh, fit, you know, the context, someone will correct you, for instance, and then you'll be the smarter, the wiser for it. Or maybe you would even be the one to realize that, oh, this is not appropriate, and then you will go and uh, do more study. You know, if you're watching a movie, for instance, and they're quoting an aspect of the law, or they're saying something about the law, make comments, oh, that's not how it's supposed to be. Maybe you're with people, or even if you're uh, <laughs> on your own. Make comments, or go and post something about it on your social media, and let people join your own conversation, just as you're joining other people's conversation, and of course, always pay attention. And those three things will work for you to keep abreast of the law, to keep updated, or to get back into law if you've been gone for a while. That's all I have for you in this video. I will see you in my very next video. Don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. Leave me a comment, and don't forget you can always mail me at houseoflimistos at gmail.com. I will see you in my very next video. Toodles!